Hi. Ooh, 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 ooh. Forgot this. <laughs> Let it again. Hi, this is Indy with Bag for Lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's go ahead and get into today's handbag reveal. And I'm, it's a handbag reveal because I can't remember whether I still have the footage from the unboxing. If I do, you'll see it pop up here on the screen. But it is going to be over an Anya Heimark bag, my first one, and hopefully not the last one. Okay, so just a little bit about Anya Heimark, and then I'll show you the pretty patootie that I have here. <laughs> so Anya Heimark is an English female founded brand, which is really cool. So she's well, very well known for her accessories. She's accessories accessories designer. Yes, basically she's yes, she's an accessories designer. So pulling up on Wikipedia, I just wanted to like throw out a couple of things if you haven't heard of Anya Heimark. So Anya Heimark, it looks like uh, she got her start in 1986 when she went away to Florence to study Italian for a year. So it says during that time when she was there, she noticed a lot of women carrying around a leather duffel bag and it was just that was the popularity, right? So that was the thing that most people were carrying. And so what she did was, she said, even though the UK, it says, even though the UK economy was in a recession, she was inspired by Margaret Thatcher's entrepreneurial spirit. And so she borrowed some money to import some bags to England. And after sending a bag to the fashion magazine at Harper's, Harper's and the Queen, I was gonna say Harper's Bazaar. <laughs> Oh, because that's the magazine I'm used to seeing. Uh, so Harper's and Queen, she sold 500 through the magazine. So she initially had the bags manufactured in Italy that she uh, created, but it said when the factory started selling bags of her design directly to retail, so basically they stole her design and then sold it. Same thing going on. <laughs> Not stole, I don't want to say that. I would say the same thing's going on today where you see these inspired by, but some people just blatantly steal people's, stuff blatantly steal people's designs and, and keep going with it so it, that still happens today too anyway so what it says after she discovered that then she started having her bags made in england so it says in hackney sorry for my uk people let me know how i'm supposed to say that <laughs> hackney maybe one of those okay so anyway so it says by 1992 her bags sold at luxury stores in London, New York, Japan, France, and Italy. And by 1993, she opened a small retail shop in Walton Street, and she started taking off from there. It says her early products were influenced by Italian design, and she describes her products as having high quality of workmanship and as representing a design philosophy which is British humorous and personalized and so that is definitely what you get when you see Anya Highmark's designs I will leave the link to the website down below if you have are not familiar with Anya Highmark in addition to that I did do a LV more affordable L if you're interested in LV more affordable versions in the designer realm as well and I did feature some of Anya Highmark's bags as well there because they are kind of quirky like she said like British humor that type of thing so yeah I would describe Anya Heimark's designs as kind of quirky very functional very organized and maybe part of that personalization is the fact that she has labels she's commonly known for having labels on things like this is the spot for your keys this is your spot for your what she would call bit, bibs and bo bits and bobs I think it's kind of the phrase, this is the spot for your cards, that kind of thing. And so she has a lot of travel pieces that are really great for that. But outside of that, if you're a person that's on the go, and you just really like a lot of organization, Anya Highmark might be your brand, so definitely check it out. Okay, now that I've given you a little bit of fashion history about the brand, if you're still at this point of the video, thank you so much for watching. I load videos every Wednesday covering topics related to fashion, lifestyle, as well as how to style, more on the workwear side of things, styling tips, but I, I like to talk about a mixture of things. So definitely, if any of that sounds interesting to you, I would love to see you subscribe. Also, go ahead and hit the like button before you leave. I really appreciate it. Just like at a minimum, just do that, please. So let's go ahead and get into the reveal. So now let's go ahead and talk about the bag. So I got this bag pre-owned 
from Poshmark around 300 and something dollars. And it is the Verve style, which is a smaller one. So I was watching the website. This style is currently going for a little over a thousand dollars. And I wanted another travel bag in addition to my Low and Sons that if you're not seeing those videos, I will link those down below. I absolutely love my Low and Sons travel bags that I have. Um, I have a purse that I take all the time with me out of town. But we're talking about Anya today. So anyway, so I wanted to go have something that would complement and go with that. And so I wanted to get something, but not something that was a thousand dollars. So I found this style. I love it. It's in kind of like this marine, I think is the color blue that it's in or navy blue is basically what it is. So I'm just going to show you the profile of it and I'll throw the measurements down below so you can see that. And so, like I said, Anya Highmark is very well known for organization. And I really love that aspect because uh, her designs are very well thought out. Hence this bag. So let me just show you here. First of all, we got subtle branding. You really have to know that is the image or kind of like logo for Anya Highmark to know. And it's very soft and subtle and small and very kind of feminine, right? So you could assume this, this, this is just a feminine detail rather than knowing that it's an Anya Highmark bag. So the zippers for this style go all the way to the back like this. And it is one of the smoother zippers, I would say, especially for a rounded zipper. Um, style here and then I also have tassels on the front like you can see here so the nice thing is that both go down here so the thing the two biggest features that I liked about this bag is because I'm traveling in the airport I like to have my ID you usually have to show your ID twice <laughs> one to the TSA people and one to if you're checking your bag I also wanted to have my company card with me up front too where it was in an easy reachable spot so I'm not having to quickly like put away my card make sure it's in the right spot so I make sure that I don't lose it in the hustle and bustle of going through the airport and going through TSA check so that is why I one of the things that attracted me to this bag so when I open it up I would zip it closed so I did talk about the zipper features so when I open it up it does have this magnetic closure right here beautiful pop of blue colors kind of like not a sky blue but kind of somewhere in between and it has a leather lip here which is nice to keep the bag interior so the interior either feels like a I don't know it does feel like suede I think it is a suede so on the inside you do have two slip pockets that are labeled and then you see the Anya Highmark logo there that says made in Italy so we see that one says bips and one bits. Sorry about that. One says bits and one says bobs. So we got that labeling there for just, you know, whatever you need. On the other side, there are no pockets. It's just an open interior like you see here. And then on the front, which is the key thing that I love, is the fact that you have two slots for cards and then a slot for your phone. I have an iPhone 10. <laughs> I'm laughing because I think they're on iPhone 13 now or whatever. So if you're going to go with like Max Pro, Max Plus Plus, extra happy meal size phone, obviously it's not going to fit this lip pocket anymore because technology moves faster than design does, right? So as far as like accessories go. So, but my phone will fit in with the case. So just keep that in mind. So if it's anything plus or anything with a large case, it's not going to fit here. But guess what? You got a slip pocket along the back, so you can fit your phone in here. And I'll just show you an example with my phone. Slip it in, no problem. So I think a larger phone absolutely would fit in there. I think I could fit this phone and my work phone in here just to give you an idea of the how much will fit. So that is good. Actually, let me let me grab my work phone so you can see that. Be as descriptive as possible. So okay, we got. Both the work phone, which is an iPhone 12, my personal phone, which is a dinosaur at this point of being an iPhone 10. <laughs> and I am sticking them both inside. So see that? They both fit in there perfectly. You see the beautiful Anya Highmark bow print in the li line in the pocket. So those both, both fit in there really well with no issues and I took them out very easily. So you can definitely fit it in the back pocket. So that's why I didn't sweat the fact that, you know, it's a little tight right here. So the thing that I was saying about the flight being in the airport, I love this because guess what? I don't have to worry about zipping, unzipping this. 
I can just easily open it up because it's well thought out. It's magnetic closure, so I'm still secure. My items are still safe with my, with my phone being right here and having two cards. Like I said, like if I had a credit card and an ID sitting here, I don't have to worry about, well, oh gosh, like, you know, is it secure? Is it falls out? And actually I got one, two, this is a three card slot. So it's perfect because I can actually fit two extra cards in here and it's still secure because of the magnetic closure, which is nice. The leather feels nice, firm, and smooth. It's like that perfect mixture between feeling soft, supple, but still firm, especially with this being a travel piece for me where I don't feel like I'll have any issues, but it has that, yeah, like I said, that nice, perfect mixture of firm and smooth, but still soft to the touch, which is very hard to get because sometimes, I don't know, you. <laughs> You just, being a handbag person, I think a lot of you can get, you're like, yeah, I, I, hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> so those are the features about the bag. I have been carrying it for a week. And so yeah, I'm liking it. And I think it's so cute. Definitely check out Anya Highmark. This bag strap I actually unboxed earlier. I got this from Poshmark, Poshmark 2, sorry I can't talk, and from a different seller. And I purposely got this to go with the bag because I think it complements it so well. I love that. It looks like the ocean to me. <laughs> so that's why I like that. But I think it complements it really well. And I'm really enjoying this bag. So I will give you an update at a later point once I've used it more. So let me know if you have any questions about this bag down below. But definitely check out the Anya Highmark website. And those videos that I mentioned, they'll be linked down below as well. So check those out after you check out this video.